guys, Mark here from Hamilton Pain and Injury Clinic. Um, today I'm just going to come at you with a video about cycling injuries um, and more specifically upper back and upper kind of neck pain when cycling, okay? Um, so I did a charity cycle, um, the, the massage therapy after a charity cycle a few months back and I'd say I, I'd estimate I, I worked on over 100 cyclists on that day and <clears throat> Easily 85 to 90 percent of those people that came in from that charity cycle were not looking for nothing to do with their legs. They wanted a work on done on their upper back or their neck. Okay, and there's there's various different reasons for that. Okay, so if you look at the kind of mechanics, especially when you're talk, uh, talking about road cycling, um, this somewhat extends to other types of bikes uh, like mountain bikes and stuff, but it's m mostly road cycling purely because of the position that you're in on the bike. <clears throat> so, if you think of a road bike, the position that you're going to be in, you're in that kind of hinged position on the saddle and your arms are going to be out straight, okay? Now, my head's obviously looking down, so to look up at the road, you're going to need to overextend the neck, okay? And it's not really a natural position for humans to be in. Um, so, if you think about it again, arms out straight so if you look at what happens to all the muscles at the back when you straighten those arms out as far as you can everything becomes stretched okay and then again you're holding on to the handlebars you need to look forward so you're going to be overextending everything on the neck all right so if we look at the muscles that are involved here so we have our deep neck extensors which basically keep our head back in that overextended position um, for long periods of time and then you have your kind of your your back posterior muscles for kind of stabilizing muscles like trapeze or um, mid traps lower traps rhomboids and stuff like that and they would keep your shoulders tend to keep your shoulders retracted but when we're cycling our shoulders tend to be protracted okay which means they go forward so your, your shoulder blades are kind of going that way on your rib cage okay which would put a lot of stress, just stretch and strain in at the muscles here, all right? Um, and you can have what's called tissue creep, um, where when a muscle is in a long position for a long period of time, it kind of gets stuck in that position. And when a muscle is lengthened, it, it's kind of harder for that muscle to um, contract and come back into its shortened state. And we can get a lot of pain as a result of that, right? It becomes fatigued. If you think about the neck extensor, so let's go back into our cycling position. We have our overextended neck. What's going to happen there? You're going to have a situation where you have a muscle working or a couple of muscles working constantly, working overtime. And after a while, they will get fatigued and they'll get tired and they'll start causing you pain. Okay, because that's just your brain's way of saying we're too tired to carry this on. And what does the brain do to stop you from doing something? It causes pain okay so that's two areas really that you'd be looking at and there's a few other things as well that you need to kind of take into consideration like terrain are you going over bumpy terrain and stuff like that because you're going to get a lot of kind of vibration through the body as well but they're the two main uh, culprits for anybody who suffers from neck pain or upper back pain when recycling now there's two major reasons why this might be happening okay maybe a few more but Two major reasons um, are these muscle groups here getting fatigued early, okay? Um, so what can you do about that? So, well, strength training is basically what you really need to be looking at here, okay? So working on the muscles here, strengthening those muscles up so they're not pulled forward too much so they have, can keep a little bit of contraction and strengthening the neck extensor muscles here. This would be more of an endurance thing, so being able to endure being worked for that length of time. Um, they don't get too tired too quickly and then you end up getting pain in the back of the neck, okay? Um, so that's that's one way of kind of helping with this and solving this issue. Um, there's other kind of stuff going on here, with lower back tightness and stuff that's going to impact on, on what goes up here, but we won't go into that today. Um, the other thing is bike setup, and that's often neglected by a lot of people. So, you know, you have um, the bike to work scheme and road cycling has blown exponentially. 
and people buy bikes online or they pick up a bike in the bike shop especially now after lockdown i believe bike shops can't keep on to the bikes okay um and you know you're told to get a certain size for your height so let's say you get a 51 or a 52 centimeter road bike because you're 170 centimeters tall or 173 centimeters tall but that doesn't take certain nuances into account you know like me i have short legs okay and then my upper body would be a little bit longer um so it doesn't take that into consideration so you could have a position where you have a a reach that's too long so let's say your stem which is the part that goes from the fork of the bike to the handlebars your stem is on average will be about 100 millimeters long 10 centimeters so if that stem is too long you're going to be reaching a lot further on the bike you're going to feel stretched out now most people do in their casual sport days the 100k cycles and stuff like that don't really need to be in that very aerodynamic position that most road racing cyclists would be in right it's actually disadvantageous because you know you're going to get tired and fatigued after doing it right so what can you do about that is basically shorten down that stem because when you shorten down the stem so let's say your handlebars are there if you shorten the stem look what happens you've come into a much more upright position okay so you can retract the shoulders a little bit more so if you're like this on your bike and you're looking up over extended simply by shortening the stem you're not as extended in the neck and you're not as protracted in the shoulders okay so you come into a much more comfortable riding position all right so there are two things that can be looked at when you are getting pain in the upper back and upper neck and um, is strengthening and endurance of those muscles and looking at the actual position of the rider on the bike obviously manual therapy physical therapy massage therapy is going to be um, a, a good adjunct to that as well you know a bit of work in on these muscles here especially if you are feeling that at the moment is going to help an awful lot as well and then it may be a guided training program or something like that as well okay so if it is something that you're suffering from or you want to ask any more questions please don't hesitate to contact me or if you'd even like to book a session in and we can go through a good plan to kind of get you riding pain free as well so as i said send me a dm give me a call whichever method you want and we can have a proper chat thanks for watching and i hope you found this helpful